Tonight on It's the Law, we're talking about the Confederate flag and recent events. A lot of people have talked about removing the flag from a lot of their businesses and also from state government buildings. Our legal expert, Jay Davis, is here to talk a little bit more about that. Jay, this is a hot button issue right now. It is. And, um, you know, ever since the events from Charleston last week, a lot of people have called for this flag to be taken down. Your thoughts at first? Well, the first thought is there's a lot of people who have different beliefs about the Confederate flag. It, it seems to be very prevalent in the black community to, to find it offensive because the Confederacy and the war, primarily what people remember about that is, is slavery. That's the main thing. Now, there's a lot of other things that are pertinent to the flag. There's history, there's culture, that a lot of people, there's sons of the Confederacy, uh, daughters of the Confederacy, those types of things. And Confederacy also stood for states' rights, which is becoming more prominent again. Uh, and that. The question is though that flag still has the symbol and most people associate it with slavery. So that's, that's where the problem's going to be. If it's going to outcast or disenfranchise such a large segment of society, is that really the right, the right flag to be flying in a state capital? While we certainly, I, I would certainly support everybody's freedom of speech to, to say what they want to do or to, to fly the flag they want to fly and to do whatever to show, to show their efforts. That's their right as an individual. But when you do it as a state, it, it is a different thing. If someone finds that offensive, the legal uh, route that they can take to see something done about it, is there a petition to sign or what's the proper way to do that? Well, there's a lot of different ways. You can, people can band together to petition against it just like they've done against the Ten Commandments and, and other things. There's, there's groups who say we want that out and you, you keep petitioning until you have the authorities that have the right to take that down or until you have something that it violates in the Constitution, which uh, a lot of times is what people go, go for is that this ultimately violates the Constitution. Right now, a lot of the political rhetoric is let South Carolina decide what South Carolina is going to do. It seems like it does look like they're probably going to wind up removing the flag um, and that seems to be the best the best way to do it and, w and I would support the state right that that is a state right issue on, on whether or not that disenfranchises um, such a large segment of the society which it apparently does. All right Jay thanks so much and as always we want to hear from you if you have any legal questions you can email us at itsthelaw at 41nbc.com we'll do our best to answer it each Wednesday during our It's the Law segment right here on the News at 6.